Here we go then. The last race on this version of this track. The ultimate Ron Racing Random Race. 75 Ron liveried cars all in one go. Huge thank you to Mild for sponsoring this video with the message displayed on screen saying how he's been watching since the 40 random cars in 40 laps video and even he doesn't know how to pronounce his name. By purchasing the sponsor a video option on store.profit.com, Mild has chosen to personally sponsor a video, support my work and receive this shout out. Thank you so much for the direct support. Starting in the Omnis, because of course. So, the Ron Racing Random Race is back. But this time it's an ultimate version. Let's get the first few laps out of the way and then we'll get into it. I love the Ron livery on the Omnis though, it's so nice. This has not been a good lap, I've been stuck behind. <laughs> Look at it, it's beautiful. Had to start in the Omnis. As you can see in the bottom right, 75 laps. We got a lot of cars to go. It's going to be a long one, so settle in. I imagine it's going to be about an hour and a half. All right, Vagrant. Not much of a Ron livery, but it's something. As usual, with these random select races, everybody gets the same cars by the end. It will all come together at the end of the race, as it always does. As those who get all the slow cars first, and those who get all the fast cars uh, later on, like first, we all get the slow cars after, and the fast cars after. It all, it all evens out by the end. So you will actually careful. You will actually get a result based on how well you've done in the race, personally. Oh. All chaos. Okay, now that I'm back past. Now we can go again. This is a quick one. Can I get all of them before the corner? No, not quite. Give me the space though. Gotta utilize the speed of the fast cars. Yeah, we got an, an, a wide variety of Ron cars. Cars that have access to Ron liveries. So this should be an interesting one. There'll be a big field spread, I think, and then it will very much close up towards the end. Oh man, I'm getting some quick cars here. EMP and 711 back to back. Flying through the field after a... F it gets me out of the roughness that I was experiencing in the first couple of laps to be fair, which is nice. some clean laps on the board because it was a bit rough those first few we got a long way to go so plenty to talk about and explain for those who've never seen one of these Ron random races before all right Karuma rally back to something normal Drift car up in front. Into the lead! <laughs> well, I've been, I'm in the lead at least at one point during this race. 
There we go. I might not finish here. I probably won't finish here. But at least it gives me something. So since I'm in the Karuma, well the Karuma Rally at least, um, there is one car that isn't here. Um, I'm stuck behind this bloody... All the way around the outside. Okay, the Drag Kings are going to be a challenge. RSGT. It's been all action so far. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, since I was in the other Karuma, there's one car that isn't here today. There's 76 cars on the Project Homecoming server that have access to a Ron livery. And we're racing 75 of them in this race because you can only do 75 um, laps. You can't do 76 laps. So one of the Karumas has been taken out because they basically have exactly the same livery. It was a very negative Karuma, but it would have just handled like a regular Karuma on a track like this. Oh, God. Oh, the checkpoint. What, what a mess this has been. What an awful lap. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. <laughs> it was going well until that lap. Messy so far. It's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to be winning this one. Let's put it that way after the way that the last lap has gone. That's all it takes. To not be in with a shout of taking a victory. But we'll keep going. It's a long race. We'll try for a decent result. I just didn't expect... The first crash, I didn't expect breaking into the... The chicane, the bust-up chicane. That caused me having to wait, and then... I feel like I just keep getting s slowed down by so many other people in the slower cars. I just can't get past every time. Anyway, to be fair, I don't normally have that great luck in these run races. So we have done four of the, uh, three of these. This is the fourth. Uh, in the first ever run random race, I think we we only had like 20 cars or something that had run liveries, but we did it. We've always done it on this track, and it's always been every car that has access to a run livery at the time. And then the second race was all the cars that have Ron liveries that are new, that weren't in the first race. The third race was then all the, the new cars after that as well. So basically every time there's a new batch of Ron liveried cars, we take them on a Ron livery only random race. Uh, but this time, there are a batch of new cars, but we thought we'd do it with all of them for the ultimate Ron random race. In the first ever race, I actually finished second. The third race, I finished fourth. And the, no, the first race, I finished second. The second race, I finished fourth. And the third race, I finished eighth. So if I continue that, um, you know, the way that that's going, I'll be finishing 16th in this one. <laughs> that progression is, is not, I'm hoping to break that sequence. <laughs> but the way that some of this has gone, that might not happen. <laughs> Maybe I will be 16th by the end. And again, it will all culminate at the end. Come together. And all those who have the slow cars early will get the fast cars towards the end and vice versa. I've had some pretty good cars early on, so I've got a lot of pain ahead. And there are a wide variety of cars, as we've seen already. The Drag King and Queen. Fieldmaster Classic V8, there's drift cars, there's a lot of, there's a big variety of cars with Ron liveries and that's what I think is going to make this race so interesting. The 
grip. Uh, so as always, once again, thanks to, to Mild for continually keeping track of all the cars on the server that have Ron liveries. We actually got together last night just to make sure I had all the cars decked out in Ron liveries. There was one that I was missing. I think it was the Flash GT drift spec thing. Um, but yeah, he keeps, he keeps track of all the cars that have Ron liveries as new ones get added. He always mods them up and I'm just able to save the car. I don't have to do any of the modding myself. And he also chose to sponsor this race as well, as you probably would have seen at the start of the video. So, big thanks to him for that and for the continued help in making sure all my cars that can have run liveries do have run liveries. And all of his cars that can have run liveries also have run liveries as well. <laughs> Back into the lead though. I've had some good luck with some of these cars early on. I'm expecting a lot of pain in the second half of the race. I'm getting really good luck early on. The only reason I'm in the lead is because I've had such good cars. I even absolutely had a nightmare lap in one of my good cars and still I'm here. The bad cars are coming. Still got plenty of time to go though. 12 cars down, 75 total. Given enough time, I'm sure we'll be able to do a Ron themed random all, random all of them with 400 plus cars. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If, if livery makers just keep choosing to add Ron liveries to the cars. Love this one, by the way. Love this car as well. Um, yeah, all the cars can get them. <laughs> Race truck, here we go. A lot of traffic ahead though, I don't like the look of this. All these, well they are back markers but probably only because they've had some bad cars and I haven't. 15 seconds in the lead. Well again, it's nice to spend a bit of time in the lead. I'm not, I know already that I'm not going to finish here. Too many incidents and crashes. At least it's nice to spend a bit of time in the lead on, you know, my favourite my favorite race, really. It's on Ron Raceway. Every car has a Ron livery. Like, it's, it's perfect, really. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I did well in the very first one. That's second place in the very first race. But after that, I haven't really done that well in these. The other races, the 50 minute races that are also on this track, I've done better in. But we'll see. Long way to go. I generally tend to do better on this track because there's no real curbs or anything. I'm, you know, it's in the previous MCEC track, so I've got a lot of experience on it. Well, this is obviously part of it anyway. The full circuit is a previous MCEC track. This is the national circuit, which is shorter. The full circuit turns left here. All right, there's the negative Karuma. I do have to be a little bit careful, but the very negative Karuma isn't in. Because it's basically exactly the same as this. It looks exactly the same, so it's a reasonable duplicate to remove. Ooh! <laughs> we wanted to go there. There must have been a little bit of dirt that I hit. That was close. But oh yeah, most of the track it's just driving like a regular Karuma. The negative off-road traction loss doesn't really matter. Just 
just want to make it through this lap cleanly. Okay, we're good. Gauntlet Hellhound, nice. I have got so much pain coming my way. I can't believe how lopsided this is with all the good cars early. I suppose there's a lot of good cars that get the wrong liveries, but for me to not have had really anything that's bad yet. Yeah, the drag vehicles are going to be a big challenge. Especially on the hairpin at the end of the lap. Just trying to avoid where that drag king was going to be. <laughs> Alright, Flash GT. So obviously the reason that you're not seeing Ron liveries on every single car is because people can put their own, you know, their own liveries, their own colour schemes on their own personal cars. It's just that all of my cars have the Ron liveries on. I think RBSs do as well and Mild obviously. And I've seen a few others. But I don't know how many have the full list of only Ron liveries. Uh, but this is also saying goodbye to this version of this track. And it's a little bit of a shame because we went through a lot of effort. Obst did a lot of the work as well. But obviously we've, um, we've had the recreations of my circuits. We had LSGP and North Loop recreated. The next one in the list was Ron Raceway, and that has been done. Um, and OBS did a great job with it, it looks fantastic. Um, and the hope was that we'd be able to get it on the server for this race, and we could debut the new version of Ron Raceway, at least half of it with the National Circuit, um, in this race. But unfortunately that hasn't happened. The track is on the server, but supposedly there's something gone wrong with a bug or whatever and it's not playing nice and it just it's not showing up so the full Ron Raceway new version is actually on the server but the national circuit isn't the script went kaboom yes so I guess in a way we're, we're saying goodbye to this 2020 version of Ron Raceway national circuit but this is the one we've done all of the other Ron Raceways on, uh, Ron Random Races on, so I guess it's a fitting goodbye, but it would have been nice to have done the new one. But what can you do? Best laid plans and all that. Okay, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Half the battle is just getting through people cleaning. But yeah, there will be a new version of Ron Raceway. Looks great. Handles great in terms of the driving experience. Um, and I'll probably be featuring it in a video at some point and it will feature in other videos. This is the last time we'll see the old version. I love this car, by the way. The livery and everything else. Okay, careful. Gotta be careful. Drag King time. Use the speed and then slow down. The 2020 version of Ron Raceway is still available, by the way, and always will be the full uh, the full track anyway on profitcom slash Ron Raceway. Or if you go, you can just get to it from Jesus. You can just get to it from uh, my website, going to resources and then tracks. And it's, it's further down the page. You can even get the 2016 version of it as well. The old land race. Still available to race on. If you're ever feeling nostalgic.
the, uh, the new version will be debuting as soon as I can make it available, I guess. I didn't want to take too much speed there and just launch into everybody on the first corner. <laughs> Alright, we momentarily went back in second. There's Mild. <coughs> Giving me the finger as I go past. <laughs> Norwegian Knight Rider appears to have quite a few of his vehicles decked out in the Ron livery, but it's very much the, the wrong colour <laughs> for the blue. This is a bit scary. There's just so many cars everywhere and so many different speeds. For anyone who wants to get the Ron colours on your cars, it's surf blue with a frost white pearlescent and then an orange, just plain orange for the secondary colour. Generally orange wheels as well. Beautiful. There's the June. One of the newest editions that's got a Ron livery. Look at it. Beautiful. God. Do you know what? I might not be the only one who's having issues with uh, getting taken out. The sky is even going orange indeed. In a race like this, when it's an hour and a half long and you're getting 75 different cars, you've just got to drive the best that you can. Hopefully not get in any incidents, but try your best to stay out of it and just see where you finish. I'd be happy with a top five <coughs> as my voice is leaving me. we got some very quick people in this race. Mild, Loomis, Locke, lots of others. If I got a top five, that would be a very good result for me in this field. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to see how it goes. All right, Comet S2. Mild passes me, I pass him. <laughs> I've still got all these bad cars to come though. If anybody is curious on the cars that are new, so a lot of the cars that we're seeing in this race, as I've said, you will have seen in the, uh, the first three Ron races because <coughs> we're doing repeats obviously it's not only the cars that are new like we did with the others oops sorry <laughs> um, so the Dominator PHS, the Comet Callista, Negative Karumas, the Dominator GT, the Dune, the Vagrant, the Comet S2 Club, uh, the Comet S2 Cub? Cub? Whatever, uh, whatever that's gonna be, A version of the Comet S2 Maybe it's, oh, the Cabrio, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Coquette GTE, by the way, back in the lead. Energy <laughs> uh, RH5 Touring, Panto Race Car, Torrance, uh, Torrance Touring. I'm just reading off the list that I've got on the left of me here. Energy <laughs> uh, Retro Rally, Faction Custom Donk. That's a very, very new one as with the T20 just being added before this race. Yeah, that was a good idea, cutting to the inside there. Um, Odyssey 300R, Common S2 Cabrio. <coughs> um, so yeah, it must be the Common S2 and the Common S2 Cabrio. The Karuma, the Dorado and the Bandit. Those are all the vehicles that we haven't seen in a Ron ra random race before. All the others have featured in the first three Ron random races. Yeah, my voice today, in the, during this race, it keeps going. I've got another hour to go. <laughs> I'm going to try to take a, some, a, a, a drink of water if I can, but I don't know when I can. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still in first. Mm. 
I'm just getting good luck. I'm gonna experience so much pain later on. I'm just waiting for the pain. It's all gonna catch up with me eventually. Bandit, one of the newest ones. Clearly we need to have the mower and dozer mapped so they can be added to future run randoms for the much needed water breaks, I know, right? <laughs> clean map. Cool. I'll say the thing that I always say, or that I've started to say, because I saw a comment recently on a, on a YouTube video about it. Ron is the fuel company, not the, ca <coughs> not the character. <laughs> Ron Jakowski. Is that his second name? Jakowski. Alright, how can I take a drink? Common Callista, another new one. I've got some... Oh, it's great, this one. It looks great. I love the old-style Porsches. Um, I do have some more little facts about some of the cars that are here and aren't here. But... I think I need to take a drink first. Wasn't the best I've done that chicken. Here comes mild. We obviously did the, the Ron Livery G-Fred a few weeks ago. The limitation of that was that the, the cars couldn't be in Ron Liveries and some people didn't seem to like that. <laughs> but it was just a theme, it was all the cars that can have Ron Liveries. So some of those we saw here. And Mild won that race. No way, we got the same car. <laughs> That's madness! It literally is exactly the same car as well, like, because I would have... Oh, no, I don't think I, I did take his... Uh, you have summoned him, I know, right? Together. The Ron aficionados. Sentinel brothers. Meant to be. Just as I was talking about him winning the G-Fred a couple of weeks ago. Like, amazing, it was meant to be. That was meant to be as well. The Ron racing livery... G Fred and Mild is the one who takes the win. Meant to be. That was fun. Alright, it's his spot. I think I'm going to be able to pass him now back into the lead. No top speed on this. could do with a bit of a clear run around the back half of the circuit to utilize the the grip it's not even that grippy it's being detuned on project homecoming i think the issy spot the notable difference is mild is try harding with neons and formula wheels <laughs> well <clears throat> formula wheels don't do anything if you had off roads maybe do with TCC oh, I suppose I, I don't know if that's true on uh, vanilla though I think they make the, the ride worse what am I in dominated GT that has some actual Ron stickers on it. I'm so disappointed by this one. This is the one that's actually called Ron Racing in vanilla GTA, but it's literally just the orange stripe. Like they could have at least put some Ron stickers on it somewhere. OK, 
like it. This is a bit dodgy. This is a vanilla livery. It isn't. The the all the st extra stuff that's on it isn't a, ro a vanilla livery. The only thing that's wrong, um, the only thing that's vanilla on that is the orange stripe. This is a vanilla livery though. There's a Russell. And I actually feel quite bad about it that I don't have it on my Russell in vanilla GTA. Because I don't know if it's a little bit of a nod to me, whoever made this in GTA online. Like at Rockstar. Because it's even got number two on it. You know, second for life and all that. Like the number of it is... The, 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 the race number is two. And it's a Ron livery. Yeah, look, number two. But I kind of feel bad. The reason that I don't have it on my car is because I don't really like the pattern. <laughs> like if it was more like race car e or stripes or something. I'm not the biggest fan of the pattern, but I do feel bad that I don't have it because I wonder if someone at Rockstar actually put it in with me in mind. <laughs> But, you know, it might just be a coincidence. But there's a few other Ron liveries that have, like the Sentinel, I think, has... Uh, the Sentinel Classic has number nine, which I've said before would be my race number if I if I had one in a proper race. Like there's... there's was it, is it number nine on the Sentinel? I'm not sure, actually. There's other... There's other... Um, maybe it's a 35 on the Sentinel. I'm getting confused now. Either way, there's there's been various various nods over the years. So there's a Russell might have been one of those, but it also might all just be coincidence. But I still feel a little bad that I don't have the wrong livery on as a Russell. Chaos. to PHS, the Project Homecoming Special. It's back with an old school Ron livery, which looks great. I like the, the old school Ron liveries as well. Like the Ron livery as it would have been in the 60s or whatever. We should probably have not done current work, uh, conditions. We should have just kept it noon all the time so they could be seen better, all these liveries. It is what it is. gasoline. Me and Mild about to swap positions for the lead again. Green oh, paradox. Different one this one, yellow rather than blue. Mixes it up a little bit. There is a bit of blue on it, to be fair, elsewhere. I got the top speed on this comet. I do you know? Okay, the veto made that a little bit harder than it should have been. Oh yeah, there's blue on the side. I thought there was actually less blue than what there is. Back into the lead. Reaper time. Definitely not a vanilla livery. All right, so my other little facts. There's two cars that we saw in previous Ron races that aren't here today. Uh, no, there's three actually. But two of them are because 
they were removed because of the whole Rockstar in the, you know enforcing the, the license agreement sort of thing. So the Majima GT LM, because it, I think it had assets from Forza or something, that got removed, and that had a Ron livery. And the Dead Ringer was another one, which was a big old muscle car, big powerful thing I think, from what I can remember. That also had to be removed from the server, thanks to Rockstar, and that also had a Ron livery. So those two aren't in this race that we've seen before in previous um, Ron races. There's another one that we actually started the very first Ron race with, the Sentinel XS. Oh, can I sneak up the inside here? Yes. Uh, the Sentinel XS used to have a Ron livery back in the day, and it was the car that we started the very first Ron race with. But then when Rockstar added the HSW Sentinel XS, they remapped the livery for it to add livery support for vanilla GTA so that they could have the HSW liveries and supposedly the, liver the livery mapping for that is terrible and the people who made the you know all the liveries for the Sentinel XS previously don't want to make another one because they've already done it once and it was better anyway so the Sentinel XS doesn't have liveries anymore well, it doesn't have the Ron livery, at least, that it used to have for that reason. So another Rockstar thing, I suppose. So those are the three cars that we've seen in previous Ron races that aren't in this one, unfortunately. But there is one secret hidden car as well that did exist but we never saw it in a race and it's not here today either and that's the Zentorno so the Zentorno I believe had the same issue by the way here's my first properly slow car this is where the pain starts halfway through the race uh, the Zentorno had a Ron livery created for it but before we had a chance to include it in a Ron race and I think before it even ever featured in a random all or anything the same thing happened to it that happened to the Sentinel XS Rockstar added their own livery mapping to it it uh, I still think we're going to get an HSW Zentorno at some point. Um, but Rockstar added their own livery mapping to it, broke all the liveries that were pre-existing on it that people had done. So the lost Ron livery Zentorno, we never saw it in a race. It did exist for a couple of weeks, <laughs> basically, but it never featured in a Ron race. It never featured in a random race. And it obviously isn't in this race either because it doesn't exist anymore. So four cars in total that have had Ron liveries that we don't have in this race. Three of which we've seen in previous Ron races. One of which we've never seen before and never will. We've, we spend so much time refining the mapping for the Zentorno too, really. And then a couple of weeks later Rockstar added their own and it was terrible. And all the liveries presumably are broken for a new mapping. You can't just transfer them over. Such a shame. Alright, there's my first lap of pain. There's a lot more to come. Odyssey is one of the new ones. Have I got anything more to say? I wrote down some notes because there was a lot to talk about with all these different cars and stuff. I think I've mentioned everything now. So the next half of the race is just gonna be seeing where I finish. I think the second half of the race is gonna be a lot slower than the first half. <laughs> I got some good cars early on. Fuck 
Belgium custom donk is not quick. Again, this is one that alongside the T20 that was added literally before the race. It wasn't even on the server yesterday when me and Mild went through all the cars. <laughs> That's how new it is. second half's going to be rough. I wonder how far I'm going to fall. I hope it's not too far. I feel like I've only had that one bad lap where I got involved in crashes that I shouldn't have really. But apart from that, it's been relatively clean. I did lose a lot of time there. The win is definitely gone, but... Yeah, it would be amazing if I finished 16th. And have that progression continue. 2nd, 4th, 8th, 16th. If we ever do a 5th one of these, I'll be having a really bad time because that Williams I'd finish 32nd, last. <laughs> nice car this as well. Oh, it's the retinue that has 35, isn't it, as the race number on the side of the livery. I think the Sentinel Classic does have number 9. Anyway, that's that's my mind going back to a much earlier train of thought in this race. Past the squaddy before the right hander. Yes. People don't have to get out of the way in one of these races, by the way. Back markers. I've heard a few times people being on the horn, as if to say you're a lapped driver, get out of the way, but if you can keep someone behind you. It'll It'll pay dividends later on in the race. Wow, that's some lag. Jesus. <laughs> Down I go. Down I go. I think that set 13 seconds is going to be swallowed up very quickly. Oh, I can have a drink. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. All right, wait till I get onto this straight. Oh, God. I'm a lap down now from mild. Crazy. Ah, there we go. That feels better. Just gonna stick to the inside. Just out of fear. Most of the time lost from the motor potty comes from people wrecking you. <laughs> finish our laps is on, so everybody will be able to keep going and finish all their laps at the end. Great feature that. I'm glad we can turn it on when we need to. We don't have people not getting all of the cars by the end. All right, well, I'm outside of the top five. That's not a good sign. I've still got a lot of slow cars to go. This isn't one of them, though. What is it with me getting the same cars as other people right next to me as they overtake me across the line? Locked down in 7th. I wonder if he had really bad cars early on. He's going to make like a glorious comeback. Although Loomis and Locke are both on very similar pace. I think
think Mild is a tiny bit further back, but all three of them are very quick. So it's not a foregone conclusion this time that Locke wins this one. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Gotta get here before the veto. There we go. Had to dig up the old DMs with Talkie who did the custom mapping for the Zentano. Ooh, motor potty for Loomis now. I guess there's a chance that other people still have bad cars to go. Other people in the top five or seven or so might just be there because they've had bad cars. Uh, they've not had, they've had good cars. Could still all close up towards the end. Still a long way to go, a lot of cars to go. Looks like we did it over three days in January 2022. The vanilla livery support was added in the Criminal Enterprises update, which was July 26th. So we got a good half a year out of it at least. Huh. Ah, the Comet S2 Cup, that's what I missed out when I was reading it. Comet S2 Cup is a new one. Looks great. Back in the top five. I've still got that field master. There's a lot of um, Ron liveries I'm seeing actually. A few people have Ron liveries on at least some of their vehicles. been a decent lap. Oh, that was nice. Oh, really? Oh. Where do we go? Oh, from one Comet to another. Comet S2 Cup to the Comet S2 Cabrio. Have I not already had the Comet S2 Cabrio? Did I have the Comet S2 non-Cabrio? I guess. Commentators cares, I know. I don't know where they were going to be honest on the straight there. I had the regular okay. That's crazy. So the, we did get half a year with the Ron liveried Zentano. But I don't think I ever got I, I obviously saw it on a showcase and Mild probably upgraded it for me to save, but I imagine I never it never came up in a random all. I'd be curious whether that's for someone who ever wants to watch back all the random all races, all the random moors. If you're ever watching back, go to the, the January to July 2022 era and see if a Zentano ever pops up. <laughs> it's possible that I didn't have the Ron livery on it either. Some of the cars might have not been upgraded immediately. We used to do a big, like, check before every Ron race whether there was a Ron livery on and I'd make sure I'd get mine on and whatnot. It didn't always happen immediately when a car was added. Alright, where's this gonna go? Okay, crashing. Fine. <laughs> Gets him out of my way, that's all that matters. <laughs> A rally. Bloody hell! I got lucky there that that wasn't a lot worse. Holy moly! That <laughs> could have been a lot worse. I've still got that drift flash, I've still got the drag queen. 
At least I've had the veto. Yeah, I've still got some bad cars to come. The Yuga, the Slam Truck. Fourth? Back in a fourth. The Dominator. This one's got number nine on it. <laughs> this is what featured in uh, an early piece of artwork by Knight and Gary. And then it became a real thing in the game. I remember. Twenty-five to go. We're two-thirds of the way through the race. And we're much before the one-hour mark. So either I'm going to have a really, really slow final third of the race. Or we're definitely going to be under one and a half hours. One and a half hours was going to be an estimate anyway, to be fair, of how long it would take. But we have had some very quick laps. My best is a 44-second lap. What did I set that in? One of the early ones with the EMP, maybe? Do I have the best lap so far? I think I do. I had a really clean lap in that EMP, didn't I? That's before the crashes all happened. I think. Yeah, I based an hour on the fact that I assumed most cars would be doing about a one minute lap and then we'd have some really bad ones as well. But it's definitely going to be I, an hour and a half, not an hour. Uh, so I thought we'd have a minute per car, so 75 minutes plus a bit extra for some bad cars. But yeah, we got some very quick cars as well. <laughs> with Ron liveries. Beautiful. This is a great car, it looks fantastic. There's the Yuga Classic. Nice and slow. I'd momentarily got back into third. You know what? I thought the slam truck was going to be quicker than me. Doesn't seem like it is. This must have had a bit of a bump in performance on Project Homecoming, maybe. Oh, the slam truck struggles on the corners, though, doesn't it? That's what it is. This is just a normal van cornering. <laughs> Team Ron. I couldn't remember this one when, when me and Mild went through all the cars yesterday. Couldn't remember this at all. It's possibly because I never saw Team Ron on the side and I only ever saw it from like this angle. That's pretty cool. Carbon is there. <laughs> Straight on for the Drag King. Still in fifth. I've got that slam truck to go though. I'm 
going to be so annoyed when we get the Sentinel Classic wide body. Can't believe. I still can't believe it even. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not saying it now. I'll say it when we get the wide body. When we actually get it in the race. Squaddy Raid. I don't know. The Ron liveries just look so cool. I've obviously raced for Ron in the MCEC many times. But just the blue and the orange, it's iconic and it's just, it just works. We've got no fake globe oil blue and orange liveries in this one either. Done away with all of those. That was bold. Just checking to make sure that drag queen wasn't coming back and uh, launching up the inside of me or something. Oh, I've still got the drag queen to have as well. There's Mild in his motor potty. Hot ring jukes. Can I unlap myself from a Karuma? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe. Success! I'm back on the lead lap, I think. That was scary. That was very scary. Karuma's definitely going to have me before the left-hander down here, though. Oh, bloody hell. Well, maybe not. line and the grip. Got the acceleration though. We were racing for the lead a number of minutes ago. Racing again but that was definitely not for the lead. Well it is for him. What is that on the Dorado? Underneath the, the map at the back end? Does anyone else see that? So scary with all the other drivers. <laughs> Casco's really nice. Didn't call him out, but I probably would have been waiting for that one anyway. Oh, damn it! That's my uh, that's, that's the first mistake I've done for a long time. That was unfortunate. Well, I'm not on the lead lap anymore. <laughs> There's the slam truck if to add insult to injury. Now in a slow one. Alright, I gotta be careful on the brakes. through nicely. one of the slow vehicles, the Giro. This is the LMP3. Is it? I think. 
Oh, it'll say on the side, actually. It'll say P2 or P3, if I can have a look at it. P2. This is the LMP2 car. Utilize the speed there. Want to get through all of these. I've still got the Hyperion to go. Actually, now that I think about it. Now that I've got this, I realize that I've still got the Hyperion. Don't I? Or have I had it? I don't even know anymore. I feel like I haven't. Tyrus? It'd be nice to have a Ron livery on the Tyrus in vanilla GTA. I'm gonna get through all of these. Yes. Clear track ahead. Nice. Fifteen cars to go. We're in the later stages. Oh, I've still got the drift. I, f I keep forgetting about the friggin' flash. Bollocks. Oh, and the v I, I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot about this. Forgetting about all the bad cars. To be fair, at least it's not the regular tractor. This has still got some pace. not going to be my worst lap. I shouldn't have said that, because now I'll come and get taken out by someone, but under normal circumstances, it's not the slowest thing that we've driven around today. <laughs> I think the motor potty is, isn't it? As long as you can do a clean enough lap with the drag vehicles. Oh, come on! Unbelievable. <laughs> Do a whole lap nice and clean. <laughs> so it just launches in. I should do the same right now. <laughs> Two wheels. Oh, a lot of Fieldmaster Classic V8s coming out now. I've seen um, I've seen a fair few Ron liveries. It's been nice that we've been seeing Ron liveries from other cars as well. Rip. All right. So what bad things have I got to go? Drift Flash, the Drag Queen, the Drift Yosemite, but this this isn't too bad drifting wise. Flash is a lot worse. Are those the only two bad cars I've got left? I can't think of anything else, but then I completely forgot about the field master, so I should have respawned really. I don't know who that was, and did they wait for me already? Yeah, they did. This box. See, this is the thing, every time I plug my controller my keyboard into the PC. I go on a run of never needing to call anybody out. I only need to call somebody out the one time that I forget. <laughs> oh! Ah. Is he alright? 
Is that me? I didn't have much control in the rift car. He hasn't said anything. Might hit someone behind, maybe. People know to be more careful around you when you're prepared to call them out. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the that's the key. Just make sure everyone remembers that I've got my keyboard plugged in and active on this PC. Wild's in fourth now. Loomis is in the lead. Ten laps to go. There's still a lot that can happen with the cars that people still have to get. This Shermanator, who was just in the lead, now in the field master. MBS is just ahead in the drift flash, but then I still have to get that as well, so that's not really helping. Side-by-side -side racing action into the Macy chicane. That gave me flashbacks. That gave me Moody Class Endurance Championship Season 3 flashbacks. That PTSD. No Macy, no. Mild was definitely further ahead than Macy was in that race. <laughs> Ooh, Colkhead GTE. Ah, let's go. Relatively clean lap ahead clear track still got the flash and the drag queen though ironic talking about the MCEC do it on this on on an MCEC track and we're going to have a race that's almost MCEC length. There's the drag queen. Right. This is the second last of my bad cars. Just that flash GHK to go. Now can I do the hairpin better than I did it last time? I, I had to... It's got to be a better way to do it to get round in one go. But I don't want to floor it. Flooring it seems to be the way to go, but I don't want to do that too much. And then like spin out or something. There's Locke in his GHK flash. So the lead seems to be changing quite a bit for the top few. It'll do. It'll do. Good enough. <laughs> oh, I braked because I didn't know what I was going to get. I knew I hadn't had the Hyperion. I should have been able to take, I should have taken all the, if I'd known I was going to get the Hyperion next, I would have taken all the speed into that lap and just easily got around the first corner with all the grip. So yeah, the lead seems to be changing quite a bit for those on the lead lap, but I'm consistently just off the lead lap. Didn't get the chance to utilize the Hyperion as much as I would have liked, but it's been good enough. It hasn't been a complete failure like that early lap with the crash with the quick car. Torero XO. Nice. 
six laps to go. I haven't had the Dorado yet. That's one of the cars I've got. That Flash GT. I haven't had the Sentinel Classic wide body. So there's three of my six. Gonna require some really bad cars from those in front. If, if some if the if the guys in front still have some really bad cars to go, then I might be in with a chance. But I don't give me much hope. Oh the retinue of course. There it is. 35 on the side, I knew it was. Oh yeah! The nod of the retinue. I think the retinue was one of the very early Ron liveries. And 35, the number, that's 13 plus 22. And I remember we, we, we mentioned that when it was released. Like, is that a nod? Like, could be all coincidence, but then there's multiple of these coincidences. You already had one wide body, not sure if Sentinel. Have I not had the Sentinel? Have I, have I already had the Sentinel wide body? Maybe I already had it and I just forgot about it. Maybe. I, I, I was meaning to talk about the Sentinel wide body not having a Ron livery in vanilla GTA when the regular Sentinel does and how disappointing it made me, but maybe I already had it and I just was talking about something else at the time and it passed me by. Alright, here's the flash. going to be my most painful lap left. Just going to minimise the pain. People get crazy close. I think you got the wide body first quite early. Ah, oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, it was, it was action packed the start of the race, so I'm not surprised that it passed me by. I'm trying. I'm trying to not screw with people. I'm sorry. versus Flash GT GHK. Battle for the ages. Alright, I've just managed to hold on to fifth. ZR380. Dominator PHS behind. We're still in fifth, just. Three laps to go after this one. Fourth place is a minute ahead, so the top four are gone. It's all about this battle for fifth. I said at the very start I'd be very happy if I got a fifth in this field. A top five would be a good result for me. Breaking that... Yeah, anything higher than 16th, to be honest, to break the sequence would be a good result. Still don't know what they've got left, though. Everyone else around me. Rapid GTE now behind. It's closing up as it always does in these random select kind of races. It all closes up at the end. Panto race car. <laughs> so cute. Great livery as well. It looks great. Oh no! No! Oh, that's it. It's over. Top five's not going to happen. I thought I would have got away with it if I'd missed the uh, missed the if I hadn't missed the checkpoint, but I did. That's it. It's over. That was the guy in fourth place as well, doing his drag king lap. Should have made him wait. Oh, I forgot. Okay, that's entirely on me. <laughs> And that is as well. 
Okay, lap 73 is not going to go down as a good lap. <laughs> That's it. Top five is over. I tried to uh, cut back. It's been that drag king. The drag king entirely. It's a drag queen, actually. It's ruined my entire lap. First, because he'd crashed and I went into it. And then secondly, because I was... Oh, he's had both the drag cars together. And then the second one was because I was trying to cut in on the inside of him, but I cut in too much. I might have, considering he still had two of his drag vehicles to go, I might have been able to overtake him for fourth without that. Don't know what I've got left. Damn, was that the top three? Is that how close it was? Two seconds behind the top three, it, it, between them. I said it was those three who were the, the class of the field and, you know, an hour, an hour and a quarter later, everyone's had all the same cars across the 75 laps and at the end it's all closed up. And they finished two seconds apart. That's insane. The Westwood is my final car. The car that was on the thumbnail of one of the very early Ron random races. Might be the very first one, actually. This brings the race to a close. Do you know what? I genuinely think top five could have been doable with the cars I had left. Getting caught up with those drag that drag car, who he ended up going on to finish in fourth. I think I could have held on to fifth with the cars I've had without that. Never mind. It's one better than the last Ron Racing random race, though. Seventh place. Top quarter. And we got to drive a lot of really nice cars and see some great liveries. Thanks for the GGs. I'm not particularly happy. I think, but I think fourth place was probably the best that I could have done. Did I get best lap? I think I've managed to maintain that best lap. I'll take that. I'm partly sad I missed out on this race because of work, but knowing that Loomis, Locke and Mild were all in the race, I wouldn't have stood a chance anyway, so I'm partly glad I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy though, that finish. Two seconds separating the top three after 75 laps and what was it? One, mi one hour, 15 minutes? Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Two seconds, unbelievable. GG's top three. Last corner was a mess. A drag car sent it into the hairpin. Loomis hit him. Guy in front of me smashed Loomis. I braked and got smashed into. Yeah, that sounds like a mess lock, <laughs> to be honest. I was P2 and I passed him and then effed up, passed him again and then effed up again. So Mild was momentarily in the lead multiple times and then messed it up in the drag queen. Crazy finish. And you know what? We made it to the end. We got to the end. We got through all of the cars, all the Ron cars on the server. I'm wearing my Ron Raceway 
top. You can get it on star.bruffy.com. Ron Raceway on a mug, t-shirt, whatever you want. <laughs> and the new Ron Raceway. Keep an eye out for when that debuts in races soon, I imagine. And there's the final results. Eight minutes from top to bottom, but it's always nice that we get everybody to finish. And I guess we'll do one of these again in the future, but maybe next time we won't do all of them. We'll just do the new additions like we have done before.